Kevin McSay, that must be sweet. A one point win in Salt Hill. Mayo have not go away out of the championship, but more importantly, you're through to the quarter finals of the All Ireland. Yeah, and that is the most important thing. I mean, uh, the little bit of I- ice cream on the top of the cake, perhaps, or the cream on the top of the cake is that it was, you know, old rivals. But the big offer here was the ticket to the to the last eight, and uh, we 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 felt we were a last eight team. You know that we had done enough all year, but um, things happened against us last week. Uh, authors of it ourselves, of course, to a large extent, and uh, we didn't get the job done. And good luck to Cork for taking advantage. But uh, we were very we were hell bent on a reaction. Uh, this week and we got it and we're in the last eight and that's all that counts now we'll come back to last week in a couple of minutes but the reaction that you got you made four changes how many were injury enforced because um your strength and depth off the bench later on made a big difference yeah, none injury forced uh absolutely just, yeah illness okay he just he's got a bug last night and we had to take him out couldn't have him traveling on the team bus with a bug and and it was kind of in the middle of the night all this happened um but uh, did yeah. you have a team to play against the wind and a team to play with the wind, or how well, did it work? We certainly it was a big, a big, um, it was a big concern of us during the week. I mean, we all can get the weather forecast, and traditionally there's a bit of breeze here anyway. Um, but we had we, we knew how we wanted to play against it. Uh, to the large extent, we would have got the perfect position if we executed a couple of points that we should have. Uh, but then Galway missed a few as well with with the wind. So overall sense, we got to halftime. We knew we were in the game, big time, and, and it was a significant breeze. It was a four or five point breeze, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, the wide count to half time, Galway had six, sloppy ish wide, you had four, but three, the last three attacks of the first half. So you were five down at the break. You come out like a house on fire, the perfect start at the start of that second half. I'll be honest, looking on, I was wondering, are Galway just going to set up camp here? They have a five point leader, they're going to protect it. Are you going to run into the same problems you ran into against Loud and Cork? No, How I, did you approach the half time? Uh, Composure, work the opening, take your time, you know, get it from left to right with good skills and at speed and somebody will fall asleep on the defence and you'll get your opening and then let's have the right players in there to execute and at that stage with Hesh on we had um, Killian on they're all good ball players we were to get Jimmy Carr on at the end you know he's a very good striker at the ball um, so we felt we, we, we got that, that part of the game pretty, pretty right but the big part was going to be energy as it always is and it needed the goal to electrify us and uh, and we did we did get that it was a great goal I, in my mind's eye it was a good goal who taught McBreen how to score a goal like that because well, he gives Gleeson the ice yeah well I, I well, I, <laughs> well okay if you say so but um, he has been threatening to do this you know he gets on the end he's, a, he's one of those late trailers and he's very explosive and I'm delighted for him he's a great lad he's, this is his first year really getting a run of match fitness uh, that allows him to play for Mayo but he's definitely can play for Mayo as long as he wants because he's he's a marvellous prospect I overheard you there a second ago that's not what you told him at half time to go out and score a goal was it? No, no we were we were conscious that Damien Gomer was getting on a bit too much ball and uh, see this is where you think people are clever and we everyone knows what's going on you know we were drilling him to tighten up on Damien Gomer I go out on the sideline Damien Gomer isn't there and now straight away you have to change up everything you thought at half time is out the window so ah. this is this is you know the adaptable challenges uh, you're getting all the time. So the format of this season, it felt like last Sunday before throwing yourselves in Galway were in the perfect position. You both lost and Monday morning you're drawn against each other. So much changes in a week. A lot of the talk in the build-up of this game was that Sean Kelly wouldn't might be 100%. He didn't look 100% out there. Damien Comer was in trouble. He went off at half-time with an injury, Pork Joyce said. And Shane Walsh was 40% from four from ten shots. I was on analysis with James Horan for Off the Ball today and he raved about Dermot O'Connor's performance. Yeah. Jeremy has stood up massively for you. Who else had a big game for you today? Who are your big game players? I, I rarely go around, you know, uh, looking at individual performances. It's just not what we're about. Um, like Jeremy, by his own high standards, uh, had an average effort last week. And I knew immediately coming home on that bus that was not going to be what we'd see this week because he doesn't do back-to-back poor performances. Uh, and a lot of the team were in the same boat. But on Wednesday night, I'm, I'm telling you, our, we'd already got a reaction by Wednesday night. How, can you tell us how? How do you know uh, that? Because Paddy Durkin kicks two great points today. Last week, yeah. his shooting boots around. Yeah. Well, you see, it's, it's just a, it's a small little flick. Like, these are top players, and there's moments, and there's pressure. And I always say to them, if you execute accurately in the big moments, that's what gives you the breathing space to go on to have the big performances. It's when you're missing them, and you're leaving people, giving them the option to stay in the game, to start chasing you down the end, and then anything can happen. But um, I thought we controlled the game in the second half quite well. 
very brave at the end holding on to the ball not good for my heart but um, they teased out the opening and uh, yeah two, two very final questions right the call on Killian O'Connor last week that let him play 60 minutes of the club match um, he scored I think 2-6 or something you didn't have him in the last five minutes of the court game he, he would have been handy today he played from the 44th minute and he scored with his first touch what, what does that call come down to? Uh, just discussion he, he's a very experienced player so obviously I have discussions with him the coaches have discussions with him and ultimately we do what's right for, for him but uh, ultimately what's right for Mayo and our judgement it wasn't a medical thing it was a, a football decision that uh, like he got 2-6 imagine who he was feeling coming out of the Ballon Tower one. Like, they're great decisions when they work and they're bad decisions when they don't work but tonight we have a result that he made a big contribution to and I know the result that I prefer yeah, you'll savour this for the next, what, 12 hours? The draw is at 8.30 in the morning, maybe a little longer. It won't get to, it won't get to 12 hours. <laughs> it won't get to 12 hours, maybe maybe 9 o'clock. We just couldn't finish the game out, and I think seven scores from 18 shots in open play tells its own story from our side. But look at the lads, putting a massive effort. They're great lads, they're credit to the county. They've taken the county a long way, so last year and this year. But look, it's disappointing today, and it's just very hard to stomach it now. How much of a turning point was the loss of Damien Comer at halftime? Yeah, well, look at you. Obviously, you want your best players on the pitch as much as you can, but we didn't get really get a huge rub of the green this year with Knox injury. So look, at that happens. Look at some to get a chance, but uh, look at the injury. Damien going off the pitch wasn't the win and losing the game. Like we still loads of chances in the second half there that we didn't have a great goal chance and we had a couple of great shot, shots in you know, wild shots at goal. We should be tapping over the bar, but look at uh, twelve points won't win much games for you. Do you know our defence was really really good again. Our structure was very good, and you know it's another year gone by again for Galway. Pork, you were five up at half time in a good position against the win in the second half. You would have targeted stopping Mayo in that third quarter. How did it go wrong so quickly? Sure, look at it. We said we go out and try and nick on another score or two, but instead of that, we turned the ball over three times in our first three attacks, and they got three scores to get, get them back to them two points in the goal. So I full back up the pitch. No one laid a hand on them for 50, 60 yards. That's, that's totally in our grain doing that. And uh, it's very hard to recover from that. How fit was Sean Kelly today? He obviously wasn't 100% fit. You had to make that call now. He wasn't 100% fit, but he was fit enough to take part in the game. I think he made a big contribution to the game. You know, he's, he's our captain, he's our leader, he's, a, he's our one of our main men. And look at whether he's, if he's anywhere right to walk, he'll play like always. He did so much right in the first half, Boric, you know, really squeezed their kick out, pushed up the pitch, but probably disappointment that you weren't further in front at half time. 100%, yeah. Look, at we, we probably should have been 10 2 up at half time or 11 2, you know, no doubt about that. Missed some simple frees that we shouldn't be missing. Um, but look, that's the nature of it. Big moment then in the second half. Sean comes through. Matthew Tierney's coming through in goal. It's, just, it's a, you know, it's one of those moments. A goal chance here, or there. Yeah, look, it is. You know, and look, at, to me, like he round the keeper all day long. Matty knows that there, but he just took a shot and, you know, and even the first half he made a shot as well a goal too high. You know, and like you just, you have to, you'll get about two goal chances in the match as we know. And if you don't take them, you're going to struggle. And then the one at the end with Killy, and I think we were all. Yeah, well, look at it. At the end, very get a goal there. The 14 behind the ball. You know, he just flicked it in towards. The goal, John Mahard a shot as well, but look at your in desperation stuff at that stage, you're just trying to grasp a straws, trying to get a goal there. When, so we've had 74 minutes before that to try and get a goal, didn't get one, so it's very hard to get one in one minute, which is 14 behind the ball. We've been on the crest of a wave for so long, it's just been a bitterly disappointment two weeks, I suppose, at the wrong moment. Yeah, look, we, 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 again, like you look at the group, we probably the same points, the group and best score difference, but we found ourselves in the game today. But we've known again, no one to blame ourselves for that. We didn't win the game last week or draw the game, whatever, we just have to accept it and move on from it and that's all we can do. Park, um, likes of Keen Hearn and Johnny McGrath did very well, young guys coming in did quite well. Yeah, look, at, uh, we knew playing them, even Sean, Sean Fitz, Keen Hearn and Johnny McGrath had a fantastic season for us, Jack Lynn, the young lads, you know, and they were really, really good today. It definitely wasn't their fault that we, we lost the game today, that's for sure. Was that a recurrence of, a, of the injury for Damien or was it something that ah, just it's, 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 it's a tightness on his hamstring, his hamstring injury, so he's prone to them, but he just felt he couldn't get moving. If he stayed on, he would have ripped it, so we had to take him out. As Jonathan mentioned there, you got so much right this year, and it just feels so quickly it's all kind of yeah, ended. But that's, yeah, but that's the nature, Tommy. You know, like you know, the the, the competition is a competition. Like you know, it's, we've not known to blame but ourselves. Remember that. Um, it's not that you know, Mayo were probably a bit better than us today, but like we just missed too much today. Even last week, and, and uh, we shouldn't be in a position to be in there today. But we are, and we're out of the championship now, and it's a it's a bitter bill to swallow. But we have to just regroup and see where we go. Yeah, like you you lost your Ireland <coughs> final last year. It looked like you got so much right this year. Adding depth, everything as we said. How are you going to reflect on 2023 when you get a chance? It's, just, it's very, very disappointing. You know, that's, that's just the bottom line. There's no point trying to glass it over. We had um, loads of chances. Like, you know, I won Connacht, whatever, lost the league final. It wasn't a bad year for us, but being knocked out of the championship uh, before the quarterfinals is, is, is a poor season overall.